TV as before. So yeah, Ips, what do you think of this lineup? Who's gonna win? Who would you who would you want to play in the final? Whose lineup? Uh, like um, Evo Cat. Yeah, you'd rather play Evo Cat in the final. Mm-hmm. Why are you okay. playing Nemesis Any reason? Nox? Yeah. Nah, it would be even funnier if he can't even reach the final. <laughs> well, um, I mean, so mean. I know. I don't know. I like um, I like playing against Tack and Teamic and stuff and Flippy and blah blah. I just know these guys more than I know the rest, and it's like playing against uh, your friends. Yeah, so I enjoyed it much more than than against a team I don't necessarily like that much. Yeah. Can yeah, I give some shout outs? I like people asking me for shout outs. Come on. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, shout out to Tim Tim, or Mid Mid, my ex roommate. Great guy, watches TF2, has no idea what's going on, but he seems to enjoy it. And then Talish is asking me for a shout out. And I have to tell uh, Talish that I want him to stop asking me to back up for my team. We don't need another scout backup. I'm very sorry. <laughs> and that was Harsh. it. Is that it? You done? Yeah, I love the ads. I'm really looking forward to a Zoe mousepad or a mouse. <laughs> oh, I like how you've changed your tune now. Last night when you were talking to me, <laughs> you were just like, look forward to my, is it the Zowie FK you wanted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you were like, oh, look forward to that. I was going to buy one, but now I can't wait to win one. Mm hmm. Uh, John, are you free to let them know on the server that we're ready for them to go live since they're all offline on Steam? I'm not ready. What is this madness? <laughs> it's called TF2 Admirable. You might be familiar with it. Oh dear. Oh, right, I'm on the, it. it's, it's going live as we go into the lower bracket final of the Zowie Invitational number two, the European edition. We're going to see Mela Moore in blue against Evil Cat in red as we go into this middle on process. Scap start, Cap is started early by Demold. Uh, not as quick for Nadir, Nadir's not got a health pack yet, still quite low. Big bomb comes in, Dimul deals with Captain Hat. Another bomb comes in, uh, they deal with that. Both medics are lost, and it comes, it's coming down to a four on three in favor of Evocat. And it looks like they're just going to back out right now, the remaining Mala Mool players. Time. Adds, are, you with, are you with me? <laughs> no? It's all okay. you, baby. It's all you. All right, cool. Uh, both medics went down, and it looks like they have some sticky traps set up at the choke, Mala Mool do. Nadir's just going to slow him down. It's going to be equal Ubers, give or take. Uh, let's see, Bull is still on the regular Uber. And it's regular Uber for Mitzi as well. So we're going to see an Uber stalemate. Uh, the Ubers are completely even now. It's balanced out through building. Uh, but we have got a really open choke to work with here. So uh, keep your eyes on the Romers. Captain Hacks for Evoket and... No, Captain Hacks, sorry, for Mela Mall and T-Mac from Evoket. T-Mac had a really strong game earlier when we watched him against Made in Germany. And process is really good for roamers. Lots of slopes to bounce off to go flying in. So expect big roamer plays from either side, exploiting the map terrain. Now you're I'm almost, almost. almost. I'm almost in. You know, I'll just oh. cast cast the process loading screen. You're now on your way to process control points. The community map made by Ian Scorpio uprising. Coolidge, thank you to that guy. I'm going to have to cut but you off now as there's a bit of harassment at choke from both sides. It looks like Demul wants to peek in. They're trying to line up a push right now, but not a lot happening. I think Nox is going to go peek in IT, see if he can catch anyone out. And just a really cagey opening from both sides in the start of this lower bracket final. It is only one map. Winner finds himself in the final and guarantees himself at least one prize. T-Mac opens up with a bomb. Tech's going to follow it in. They've isolated a soldier and served. And they are going to take down Nox. They're going to Uber in now. Mitzi drops! Dropped by Mitzi, I don't know what he was doing. I uh, presume he's gonna presume he's gonna blame his 150 ping. But now Evoket should just clean up, but they've actually lost their entire flank. Big frags from the scout and Captain Hacks. Tech's now trying to find the shotgun on his 9 HP scout. He finds a bit of a demo man's arrived now, just Tech and Bull. Soldier's gonna bomb in, Bull gets juggled. Captain Hacks with the airshot to finish him off. Tech's on 59 HP will run away, just about dodges for roller, will find the health back. And it looks so good, but the flank from Mail and Bull absolutely saving their team there after that drop from Mitzi. The tactical drop from Mitzi, you know, it's uh, definitely all part of the plan. I believe you uh, invented that, didn't you, Admirable? Yeah, uh, look at the bullies uh, using another of my tactics. Uh, Crits Creek, the unlock I had added to the game uh, by Valve. So that might nullify or sort of equalize this uh, uber differential. 
He's building it up furiously right now, and uh, this will be one of those great situations where they the middle feel they have to push because they have uber advantage, but they're all walking through a choke into a Kritzkrieg. Lots of blue people in a sm small area against critical damage. This could just be magnificent to watch, unless they get wind of this Kritzkrieg. But uh, they did poke into the PC there to see if they could get some picks, but now I've rotated it back around to choke. That's yeah. the melee mill combo. You look at it really far back. I think what they what their plan was was to like invite them to push, tell them to come get in, come get everyone on the point, and then pop the crits on them. But Milo and Mool weren't going for it. They didn't feel they had enough of an uber advantage to work with. And now it's going to be up to... We're going to be put it on Demul. Demul will, of course, for substitute demo man, replace an Exxon. I'm not sure how confident they're going to feel giving him a solo crits. And it looks like they're just going to hang really far back. They don't want to go close. They're worried about being crushed by the... Uber, because in a straight head-to-head, -head, Uber beats Crits. Here comes the yeah. bomb. Me and the Mule are still unaware of this Crits, I would imagine. Now it comes in, Demul finds the deer, gets his uh, opposite number on the demo, and now they're trying to just kite the Uber charge as Nox comes forward, wanting to equalize, but forces Bull into the waiting arms of Pierre Lagressif, his new r lover, but it's uh, a tough kind of love. It kills him with a rocket, and uh, the Flapper. rest of Eva get, get yeah. mostly cleaned up. Yeah, Plapla came in uh, to clean up some of the damage, managed to get two frags, including the all-important medic frag. It's only T-Mac alive though, and T-Mac might actually get caught out here. Uh, Nox landed the rockets, T-Mac down to half health. Uh, they have got a spawn wave in here, it'll be interesting to see. I think Tech wants to go for it. Scout's going to run out onto balcony, Tech's going to follow him in. Captain Hax tries to bomb in, Tech's going to clean that one up. Well, Captain Hax cleans himself up there. Uh, and they're going to reclaim this point straight away. Uh, it seems to be normal uber for both sides now. 10-15% uh, advantage in the hands of Bull. They're working their way through Chuck right now with the three-man advantage. Three players coming up in the same spawn. We have Nox, Drosso and Captain Hax all back on the field, but I think uh, Mayla Mill would be wise to forfeit this middle point. They're backing off. And it is a 20% advantage here for Bull. He's maintained it, his team continuing to build. And if they just push directly through PC now, they could catch a couple of players here. But both soldiers from Mail Mill were just spamming there, uh, watching for any sort of fast push. Now they've moved back towards the Spire, but there's no vision in PC right now, except for Flip, who sees uh, two T -Mac scouts with a demo man there. t -Mac keeps doing this bomb where he fakes the bomb and then Tech bombs in afterwards. Tech's trying to take the solo Uber in, he's going to get popped on. Uh, good work by Tech, got really deep before having to pop, now going to force a multi. Evil Cat have two really weak players on the flank though, I don't think they can commit to this. Tech might now get caught out. Ball was actually jumped in to try and save T Tech, but he ends up dying. Mistake now from Ball, and now Captain Hacks is going to get the demo. Soldier's going to bomb in and take down Mitzi. Tech takes two. Tech's DM prevailing once again. He will go down, but he's bought his team so much time here in defending this middle point. Yeah, I mean, um, the push from Evocate, they had sent demo and scout through the, the PC, the server room, the IT, whatever the hell you want to call it. And... Uh, like, Demul wasn't really involved in the actual uh, Uber exchange or anything. He was in a position where he could have got frags, like, playing there with traps or whatever, but when the Ubers faded, there was no damage from him there. And uh, oh, wow. I think he got rushed out there. It's Captain just, uh, Hax. I think he just peeked through Sir's now, catches his medic. And that's going to cue Evocate to go aggressive right now. They're on the hunt for Mitzi. Mitzi's going to be walking in choke. Nox is playing really tight to him. Wants to keep his friend alive. They catch out the hiding demo man. T-Mac was hiding behind the crate. Here comes the bot. One rocket on Mitzi, second rocket on Mitzi. Nox will clean up T-Mac, but Mitzi goes down once again. And neither Medic able to stay alive in this match as Pla, Pla gets picked off in the IT area. These French rumors, man, they're just uh, too strong. Captain Hacks doesn't even play rumor and he's still a good rumor, huh? <laughs> What's that all about? He's doing all right, he's doing all right. <laughs> he's decent. <laughs> I've seen worse. Is uh, the deer making its way on Aspire and 60 health trying to control the rollout in case uh, any trademark French aggression comes out of EWK, but they've decided to back off. Uh, a lot of weak players there on the main mill side. A push might have been the worst option, but uh, they will slowly regain their health through health kits and the magical healing power of Mitzi's Medigun. And it is a Medigun. No crits Krieg in play as it stands right now. Here comes the aggression. Um, sniper. Flips hanging back on the Sniper. He will pick off Plapla, -Pla, and that's for capping power god. Now the soldiers are going to bomb in, the Uber is forced. Airshot by Captain Hax to take tech with him, can't be saved by the Uber right now. And now it's looking really bad, it looks like Mailer wants to go straight off. There's already a medic just run straight through onto ball. Droso got aggressive for that frag, will clean it up. Now the demo's walking in right now, Nadir could do a lot of damage, cleans up one soldier. 
Now he's got to fight the demo man, but the demo man's being her peppered Get down by the sniper. <laughs> Spawners Crucial come in though and clean it up. Hands it a big pipe onto the medic. Uh, Mitzi had to get back there and will meet up with Pierre Lagressive. The rumor he can't build charge right now, but it doesn't matter because uh, Boo is only just starting to build his now. They have a massive advantage here. As such, Ibuki are going to throw bodies towards that blue combo, but they're already juking past them. And uh, with two players down and a third behind, it looks like it's going to be three trying to hold off this Uber here. And Bill's doing the best he can to avoid all these rockets. He's juking around on 30. He's bringing the heels. The spawns are going to come in in <laughs> five, ten seconds. Yeah. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> a five, ten seconds oh. too late. As Mitzi just stands on a point for the entirety of that push, just whistling away that cap time. And there's nothing uh, either Kate could do with a player disadvantage as we go into a second middle. Let's see if uh, T Mac or Captain Hacks are trying the fast rollout. Is this trying a pause? to catch everyone off guard? Uh, I did think it was taking them a long time to do the fast rollout, so a pause would explain that. Could be uh, the legendary STB DDoS. Or it could be a genuine pause, but either way, I see Nadir doing the air bicycle right now. <laughs> uh, a classic in TF2. The oldest trick in the book. The deer faster than Demul. Demul hasn't even made it to the yeah. uh, door yet, and he, the deer is right. already uh, flying through the air there. But uh, John has confirmed it is a pause. Yes. Also, T Max getting a buff earlier here, so I imagine T Max wants to go quick. Again, what we talked about before, like uh, a lot of the problem when dealing with Evil Care, as well as their dangerous soldier combo, is how aggressive Nadir likes to play. So if they can deny Nadir that health pack, deny him that early aggression, it can really put them on the back foot and give you a platform to move forward off. Do you think uh, Nadir would be spooked if T-Mac flew it in gracefully and stole his kit? He'd back I'd, off and he'd be out of his know. comfort zone. Yeah. Or I think he might still try and go forward, but there's a big difference between a 175 health demo man going forward and a demo man only on 60, 80 health, you know? Even if he is going forward, if he can die in one rocket, one scattergun, not really that much of a threat compared to a full health demo man. Word on the street is that Demul timed out, so uh, 90 seconds from this point in the game, uh, Demul timed out and they decided to pause. So uh, at some point, a demo man might just disappear off the face of CP process final. And uh, that could be disastrous depending on exactly what point it is. Eva Kate already find themselves around down. They might uh, be at the mercy of Demul's internet connection here as well. And no eggs on still hasn't surfaced. No. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it would be really harsh, you know, if Exxon just rolls out of bed after a leisurely, leisurely Sunday lion to replace Demul, who's done all the hard work getting them to the final, or to the lower bracket final at least. That's what it is to be a teammate, you know, sometimes you have to sit on the bench and just cheer the rest of the guys on, but uh, <laughs> I think they'll cross that bridge when they come to it. If they come to it. Yeah. Oh, here comes the unpause. Um, is Dem yeah, Demol is still in the server, I believe, so yeah, he will complete the rollout. Nadir is able to take the health pack, no big bomb. Actually, Demol will go down early. I'm not sure if that's where he timed out. But he's only got picks off there, and I don't think Evocate are even going to challenge for this middle. They even lose Pla Pla getting caught out in IT. Back foot already for Evocate. Are we in another pause? I don't know, man. I just got disconnected from STV by mistake. <laughs> by mistake. Uh, I can confirm that we are in another pause, yeah. I don't know if that was like a pause repause to let someone in, but just not quite as quick as it normally is. We weren't on pause for a long time. Um, but yeah, from what we could see, uh, both teams cleaned up. Uh, well, both teams cleaned up. Uh, Milo Moore cleaned up on middle, just about to cap it off and look like they're posturing to go through IT. Nox is already quite deep and Mitzi and Adair are coming that, heading that in that direction as well. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they hold. Both equals are exactly equal. So I'm just uh, sending a client info right now and I don't know if uh, my connection to STV is affected by the pause. But I seem to be uh, just stuck here in limbo. I have no idea Won't what's going on. Won't you not be able to connect until it's unpaused again? That's not. That's how that's it works, it is, isn't if it? you're a, a client on the game server, but I don't know I about thought the, it, I thought it carried the over STV. to STV as well. It could be. 
<laughs> this is scary, man. This is unknown territory. Yeah. Do we have any news on whether it's the same reason? Is it the same pause from before? Like, we're just waiting for Demol to finish connecting? Or... I'm back in the server. But or I is it have a different no... Issue? No more updates. Oh, wait, John does. <laughs> wait, yeah, he timed out again. He joined like, again yeah. and timed out again. Oh. <laughs> yep. <sighs> Wonders of modern technology in all its glory. Did uh, you know, uh, Commander X, that technology is the vehicle of esports? Sometimes that vehicle breaks down. Wow, did he? Did you come up with that yourself? Is that a Admiral original, or did you? Is there some? <laughs> no, something, is there some copyright? All the time. <laughs> is there some copyright that needs to go out now? No, it's uh, <laughs> just a, a classic pearl of wisdom from uh, tasteless uh, Sean Plot, whatever you call him. You know the guy. I know, I know who you mean. The Starcraft caster, yes. And some <laughs> bastard. <laughs> if you're listening, we love try you, buddy. Not, try not to sound too bitter, admirable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What he's a famous caster or a handsome bastard or both? <laughs> I think you I think you can answer that one admirable. I'll leave that one in your uh, hands. Yeah. Just yeah. Said too much already. My hand has been shown. But, <laughs> the hole's uh, getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if, so... uh, if you guys want to know any updates on the other rounds, then you're clearly not paying attention to the tournament. This is the only game that's happening right now. Everything else has been played out. The bracket is available at challenge.com forward slash TFTV Zoe 2. You can see how the other teams fared so far in this best of one stage of the tournament, but this is the last best of one round. It's the lower bracket final. Uh, a consolation final, some people call it, because uh, the third place team will be decided by this game. Oh, the winner unpause. will progress to play made in Germany. Yeah, as we go into the unpause, looks like we're trying to work their way through the balcony. They've gained a lot of ground for free here. Evo K, no demo man alive, just going to sacrifice that second point. They've had to concede CP2 to get them all back in the server. And now both teams will have Uber. Process last, particularly hard to push, really open. In comes a soldier bomb. It's going to land one rocket, can't find the second rocket. Knocks whiffs for second rocket, gets duked by ball. No force will come out. One player down for Milo Mall, but no push. No push from Evo K. Well, uh, no, I just heard a sniper bullet hit the uh, corrugated iron up there on the battlements, but now he's changing his position. Where is that scope going to go? Nox is on heavy. Oh no. <laughs> but he gets that scout headshot there. Uh, Flip knew he was there. He tried to go in again and pressure him, thinking he was going to be a little bit closer maybe, but. Flip. Yeah, Nez for timeout that no, we had. Number one. reconnect. Yeah, yeah, I think that's back as normal now, I believe. We're back in the game. I think I think everything's back as normal. Nogs on heavy, game. Flippy on sniper. Flippy with that little owl on his shoulder, gonna try and assist him in finding a headshot. Uh we're actually gonna have sniper fights, Flippers come back on sniper. Bill goes down. What? There was a bomb somewhere? There was a bomb. I was watching the sniper fight <laughs> and uh, Captain Hacks must have bombed in and taken him with it. We saw that. We, <laughs> we saw it. Don't worry, guys. So, yeah, a Medic just went down there. Bull is no more. His Ubercharge is just sprayed all over the walls right there. Massive advantage here for Mela Moon. Mitzi with 100%. They have a heavy weapons guy as well. This is going to be tough. Uh, when the Uber comes in, I think Evil Kate needs to look for frags. I don't know what's Elsewhere. happening. Was there some you know, kind of like bad sport? Like, was Bull not there when Captain Hacks pushed in or something? Because they don't seem to be pushing. I don't know. There, if only I spoke French. Can, can so we get some kind of translation? Where's our interpreter? Salt, get in here and play your flute. Tell us what's going on. I think they're waiting for the Uber. Yeah, I think Captain Hacks must have bombed in while Bull wasn't. Like, you know, before they were still waiting for Demol to reconnect <laughs> or something. So they're going to allow him to have uh, that, even though Flip is still happy to take heads. <laughs> As a soldier's coming in right now. Uber's going to be popped in. Uh, one scout has respawned right now. Demol's going to sticky point as Nadir jumps out. They do have that heavy in lobby. Expect for Recycle to come in from Nox and his machine gun. 
Not if Tech has anything to say about it though, as he takes down the flank single-handedly. The heavies on the low ground here just backing out, whereas the Demon Man in Lob and is completely caught out of position. The repush comes out, and after some courteous uh, allowing of the rebuild of the Uber after a uh, <laughs> miss bomb by Captain Hacks, as far as we can interpret it, Evocate have come out strong favourites. Yeah, great show of sportsmanship there. We're trying to read the subtitles, but that's what we think happened. Uh, maybe we'll learn differently. <laughs> but right now, Evocate are trying to go through the eye of the needle here, pushing from the PC area into a heavy weapons guy, a demo man, and a soldier. I don't fancy their chances, but they're at least continuing to draw attention here. A little axe went down on the flank as Droso and Flip focused down T-Mac. And uh, that will be Evocate's Q2 fall back to choke here. Look how close Tech wants to hold against the heavy. He's trying to air shot a heavy and actually ends up getting forced. Oh, he's dropped. Uh, M miss Uber by Mitzi right there. He's going to pop on a deer. And it goes deep. Big pipe <laughs> on Blarpla on the fence. The deer showing off his DM, but caught again way too far forward. He sets up one frag for Droso. But now Droso's caught out of position. Tech will finish indeed. that one. Uh, Tech's going to clean that up as well. We've talked about Tech all tournament long and his DM just prevailing Mitzi's once running again. 10 HP. Can make it to the kit. Double soldier bomb to send him to the spawn queue. He's been taken out. Bull on 40% charge. Big advantage here. It's maybe a sniper from Flip. Is he going to spawn in time? Maybe from Captain Hacks. Captain Hacks staying on Rome. They just need to really... They're going to try and focus on Bull as they come through this uh, choke point here. Trying to get the force out so they have uber advantage for last. Uh, they do lose T-Mac on the flank. That's going to help them. Tech walks into stickies, takes a lot of damage down to half health. Ball's going to eat some as well. Now there's a soldier bomb on Ball. Ball's fallen back with a health pack, which means no heals on his other players. Scout on Demol. Demol's getting pressured out by Flip. Nice frag by Flip. Ball has and his charge, but they find themselves without a demo man. Tech's going to solo in. He's going for it. <laughs> oh, tries to get the air shot there on an escaping Nadir, but he's uh, telling his medic to hang back, it seems, as he goes in. Deep to try and rescue something from that sort of field uber push. Captain Hacks does oh what dear. Tech can't do and takes down Ball. Uh, now T Max going on Mitzi. Mitzi will go down. Once again, the medics <laughs> unable to stay alive for longer. Long enough to get a charge, really. Flippy will kill Droso, and we're down to a three on three. Exact same control points as they had before the fight. And it's all just going to balance out once again. Ball's going to have about 15 20 percent advantage. Maybe only yeah. 10. Yeah. It's so often in those situations, like if you kill the enemy medic, you're looking for your team to collapse on you and protect. Protect you, maybe that word doesn't exist in French. Uh, <laughs> but they just don't seem to be. They seem like quite oblivious to this that, you know, oh, we just killed their medic. Maybe our medic's going to be under threat, but. Uh, or they, at least they forget about it after the, the immediate uh, few seconds has passed. But now it's uh, pretty much neck and neck. Uber's Nadir is going to get. Separate it so will Droso as Flippy and T Mac uh, come through on that flank side as well as wow. the push from PC. Yeah, they push through PC and just open the doors for the flank who just piled through. And now they're going to go on last. Only 80%. They're not going to wait for the Uber. Sticky's going on point. It's going to be so difficult for that scout to block it. Flip gets absolutely chewed up. Mitzi's going to get chewed up as well. And Evo K have a reply. Worth mentioning that uh, Mitzi had crits there, although he only had 80%. And uh, the rest of his team were dead and weren't spawning in time. He's staying on go... crits. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, we're going to see both teams roll out to middle here. Um, doesn't look like anyone's going particularly fast. Uh, both demons are arriving. The deer is much quicker. t max going to arrive on his face, though. Pressing the deer back. The rest of the teams are arriving now. Better position for Milo Mool. Evo Kate just playing quite defensive. Uh, trying to find that frag. Soldier's going to bomb in now on ball. De Mool will go down. All the position for Milo Moore right now, Evocate is just going to have to give this up. Mitzi has barely even managed to get an advantage with this crits despite the fact that it builds 20%. Uh, uh, Aster, now in comes uh, Crits Creek. Here it is. Oh, Nadir, right. I think Bull must have been at the very edge of that radius of damage there from that sticky he just got insta gibbed, but. Bull does go down and they do make that crits pay and this could be a quick round here for Mela Moo. Yeah, they've still got crits. It's currently one all with only 30 minutes remaining. This would give them the lead going into the final third of the game. They're trying to make it in. It's only a sniper alive. Going to need some glorious headshots. Spawning soldiers, maybe. They get everyone off for point. Tech cleans it up. Oh, Mitzi sneaks for cap. How did he do that? <laughs> the soldiers must have been pixels away from the cap when it went down. 
12 minutes left, and it's currently 2-1 to Milo Mu, admirable. Yeah, heartbreak in there for Bull at like 99% when he got tagged by those crits, but uh, they'll be aware of that risk. Pause. Oh, pause, boom. Okay, uh, it looks like T-Max on the fast roller, and that rocket looks like it's going to hit Nadir square in the face. Take him down to what, about 40, 50 health? Oh, let's uh, let's run a straw poll for what health will Nadir, Nadir be after this rocket connects. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's the distance that the the player is from this opponent whenever the projectile hits. So I'd say that could be like you know, it looks like a direct. Well, could be uh, 60, Which... 70, mm, 80, maybe seventy eight. A million? <laughs> I'm gonna go with seventy eight. One hundred twenty six minus seventy eight. Oh no, we're doing math on air again. Uh. uh... <laughs> We, maybe we need a, a like a third supporting person or a fourth supporting person in charge of every time we need math doing. We need an independent adjudicator to uh, <laughs> some kind us. of human calculator. Oh dear! People were asking for a, a Zoe. I'd already remember we were on the break the last time. The po they don't like our pause banter, I guess, or else they're just so mad for Zoe advert. Zoe Got adverts. Got oh. <laughs> Cut you off right now. Knox will go down early. The no deer is still on 126 health. We know nothing that rocket missed. Demul gets flipped with an exit pipe. And that middle is going to go to Evocate, and we're going to keep this advantage going. Was Mitzi, is this for Mitzi still on crits? No, it's this one's normal. He's 80% and he's going to get out of there. Uh, really low health right now for Mitzi. Yeah, down to 34. Going to have to back it up. And I can't see where Evocate are. Are they coming through IT again? Yep, Tex leading it with a solo charge. He sees everyone. Gonna take a lot of spam, gonna pop it off. He's gonna try and force for multi, but right now it's just Tech and Nox. No, Tech and Captain Hacks even trading for single. Uh, Captain Hacks is stuck behind, Ball's gonna fall out, choke. And Tech's actually negotiated himself a position up to the point right now. Lots of fighting going off, but the flank goes down for Evo K. We're just gonna have to run away. The scout might be caught out as well, gonna be chased down in supers. Down goes Pla Pla. Just for demo and pocket falling back with the medic right now. Soldier bombs coming in, Ball's gonna need to surf and he's out. Ball takes quite a bit of damage, down to 31 health, we're going to keep following through. Uh, Demul gets caught out as well, great aggression for Milo Mul there. Yeah, uh, flip with a 3k at least there, finishing off with a pistol frag onto Demul, the uh, substitute demo man here for Exxon today. Uh, little advantage in favour of Mitzi, but not sure if that's going to be enough to fuel their push. But they are regrouping here around middle, Pierre Legressif aka Captain Hacks. Went down right there. I'll probably not push without him. But they are just trying to figure out what the plan is of Evocate. Right now, Mela Miller are in the lead. They don't need, necessarily need to push. They could park the bus if they so choose, especially when they see Flippy snipe in there. Uh, they might want him to come a little closer before they Uber or, you know, try and bait him into a position where he can be picked. But Flippy has a vision of choke. He's coming close now. The medic's fair. Oh, he's just gone inside before Flippy peeks around the corner. Flippy's just gonna find, try and find oh, another frag. Some combo play, or the Nox and the Deer working their way through PC alone without the heals. They're trying to find frags there as well. They're seeing if they can find anybody overextended on the Evo Kate side, but they're, just gonna uh, they're pop playing through. very solid on Spire. Popping through the stickies. Uh, Ball and Tech are gonna Uber back. Tech's gonna look for damage. The Deer's gonna jump out to safety. Tech's gonna try and chase in uh, IT. Having the soldier fight. Can't find the shotgun. Nox ends up trading. Uh, it's going to be an equal trade though, both pockets down, equal ubers once again. Flippy's still on the sniper class, Flippy's getting quite a lot of opportunities to pick down this choke, you know. Can't, hasn't connected anything yet. Yeah, even now, Ibuki are more than happy to sit back and uh, wait for Flippy to create something. Oh, a little bit of aggression here as two scouts peek out from sewer, soldier bombs and knocks. Uh, goes down, but, or sorry. Flippy goes down from Pierre Legressif, but he too will go down. But ah, Evoke are losing players left, right, and center. They're gonna have to forfeit at this point back out to last and wait for those spawns to come in. Pla Pla won't be up for another 15 seconds, though. So if uh, Mela Mill feel like continuing the aggression, trying to work a frag here, now it could be as good a time as any, but they seem like they want to take it at a slower pace. Nox is gonna go in just solo, but finds the heavy weapons guy. <laughs> and without Uber Charge, that is always a tough one. I think he's coming back as heavy. He did it last time. Ips called it before game. Don't be surprised if we see a counter heavy weapons guy. It's actually the Uber's forced here. 
Dimu will catch in, then slightly out of position. Dimu's going to jump behind as well, we'll just get juggled around. He's trying to find his way back, Dimu. Might get caught out here, Nadir's put some spam on. T-Mac will get one pick in lobby. Plapal actually gets a pick on Aroma as well. Ball's really weak, but once they get him some health, they have the players and numbers to push out with. They're going to use this mana bunnies. Both goats on the spire right now. T-Mac jumps into there heavy himself. Nox chews him up. He creators. And it uh, looks like May the Mool will slowly but surely back out. Nox might have to be left for dead here. He is very slow and liable to be focused in. As soon as Evocate feel like pushing, but... Uh, Evocate are reluctant to push again. They're just more than happy to stay on Spire. They don't even have a sniper this time, but... Do they not realise that they are losing by a round? Eight minutes left currently. I mean, there's still plenty of time to work with, but... It's close, and with that heavy on mid, it's going to be a really difficult push. Drosso has gone sniper now as well. Milo Mool is starting to turtle up, park the bus, as the English expression is. Tech wants to take it through IT right now. Uh, they're actually, the combo is actually in Sears, I believe, for heavy medic. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Making space for the Drosso on sniper. Uh, bit of a wraparound situation we have a potential for here. Yeah, okay, I mean struggling to find how they want to push this. Both combos were in positions where if they pushed, they would have been pushing into the flank players who couldn't have been saved by Uber, so they could have found frags there, but they, uh, they're they hesitating, they're unwilling to commit. I can understand why Nox doesn't want to be chasing people down as heavy, but Evocate really need to start taking some chances here oh, wow. and trying to make There's something happen. They catch Drosu out of spam. Now Nox is falling back with a medic and there should be a chance to... They're clearing the stickies at choke, spam coming through choke, scouts managed to get through. Nox is revved up, they do actually get the pop. Are they gonna... Ball could have probably moved out a little bit more, but they actually dropped Nadir, Missy can't save him. Nox is forcing the multi here, but without the demo man spam, they're gonna be forced really far back. Saying that to Maul's only firing hopeful pipes over. As now Captain Hacks arrives on Ball. Oh my god, they've juggled him right into Ball. Ball will get to the health pack, but now there's a scout on him, Flip will finish that kill. It's got him in down to a DM fight, and it looks like the Maul scouts are gonna clean this up. Flip gets one, Drosa gets one. Flip's gonna chase down the Demo Man. Demo Man hits a pipe on Drosa to deny him. But the scout's coming from the other angle. <laughs> they <laughs> will eventually go down completely out of ammo, outnumbered, and caught out right there. And Milan will come out on top, even though it looks really bad post Uber exchange. Yeah, Pla Pla was straight across the point there to get the frag on the mid, so he died uh, a little bit before Bull. Uh, but he hasn't been able to build uh, much of an advantage off that. I think he spawned forward. And now, with the heavy weapons guy here from Nox still on the field, they're really controlling the pace of this game. And like, even if EVK want to push out now, it's going to be a uh, tough and unusual situation to say the least. Like, they can't necessarily jump against the heavy and two scouts. I think they need Flippy to come big here. Flippy's currently on the sniper class. Flippy has the chance to, you know, turn the game around with a few clicks of his mouse. So it's going to be up to him to really make the difference. Currently 5 minutes 40 seconds left. That's not really a lot of time. I mean, I guess they only need one round to take it to a golden cap and they can have another go at middle. But without that round, they're, they're out of the tournament. They're out of the tournament and there'll be no prizes for them. Yeah, they are just waiting and waiting here. Uh, are they just expecting some aggression from uh, Mail and Moo? Now they finally popped out with the Uber charge, but like, Tech <laughs> can't do any damage there. Like, if he jumps, he's dead. If he just spams rockets, he's doing no damage. They've given away Uber for free, it probably couldn't have gone any worse, but they do get a frag on the flip, that might help as the Uber comes in from uh, Mitzi on the left hand side, he's going to flash the scouts, he's giving a little flash to everybody, but the Heavy is just putting a real timer on the push, he's walking forward slowly but surely, edging towards that point, he realises the demo man's on his left, Nox is going to pick up that frag onto Demul and he's been spamming so much, he's actually empty, has to break out the shotgun, Tech. it's all on tech here. Tech did his best, taking two of them down in that 1v4, but there's just too many people and too much health for Milo Moore. And that's 3-1 with 4 minutes 40 seconds left. It's going to be a real tough uh, comeback here for Evocate. Yeah, they've really been like, uh, hung themselves out here, like, they've run the clock down so much and didn't take any chances and now, eventually they took a chance and uh, oh, wow. they don't have the time. The deer absolutely obliterated there by T-Mac, Flippy and Blah Blah will take the credit for the kill though, T-Mac did all the work. Scout's coming up top now and there's a counter bomb, Demul getting a lot of pressure from Captain Hacks, Captain Hacks will take him, and it's pinned, it's pinned Evocate back. Ball's stuck in a one on one with a scout now, he's surely gonna lose. Captain Hacks picks up the 2k there and uh, separates Medic from combo, Flippy getting the frag onto Bull, but 
That was a very decisive middle right there. That is the end of the game, effectively. They can just dictate the pace from here on out. I don't want to uh, suck the fun out of the cast, but four minutes to go and they're controlling Spire here. They've got Uber advantage. This is looking real tough for Evocate right now. They need to go balls to the wall. It's all or nothing here, baby. Yeah, it uh, looks like they're going to try that right now. Flippy's behind on the medic. Flippy's no, trying to force the pop. pop. Wow. Goes down to not even that low, actually, to be honest. Now they're going to oh, come in for Uber there. versus Free. Uh, Tech's going to try and get a lot of damage out. Tech does a lot of damage on the players coming in, but they have the Uber. They're going to pop. The scoreline starts to get generous to Milo Moore as we go 4 1. With not a whole lot of time left. Let's see what T Mac can do on this middle. He did uh, create the opening at the last time, but every time he goes in and dies, he's sort of giving away this uh, solder, or it creates a solder advantage. Two solders up for Mela Mill. He's in, lands a rock onto the deer and works his way into PC. Both scouts pushing across him, but nobody on the uh, Evocate side is really taking advantage of that. There's that pipe from the Moulin to flip, <laughs> but I think their heads are hanging here, man. They've sort of given up. They are consigned to their defeat. Mm. There just seems to be no real follow up on T Max bombs. Like T Max doing great work, getting big damage on a deer, really forcing him back, forcing everyone to look behind. And then they clean up T Mac, you know, because he's outnumbered and everyone's focused on him. Like both scouts focused him there, as we see an Uber exchange on middle. But no one. There was no follow up damage from Evo K. As Nadir's trying to find damage, Tech's just walking into it. Tech just wants big damage. Tech's getting so much damage. Opens the door for Pla Pla and Flippy to come in and clean up. Meanwhile, Flip's trying to hit headshots at Choke. Whiffs a couple at the medic, whiffs one at the scout. They're um, just going to back it off to their own spire here as Evo K finally starts to put a few pushes together as Tech just walks and takes a big 150 from that sniper. Yeah, like, um, you have to sort of. Question as well. I know they're like T Max on the losing side, but he is at the bottom of the scoreboard. And maybe if him being fast and like playing good as rumor isn't working for his team, he needs to change it up a little bit. It's a bit late now, obviously, but uh, Captain Hax has had much more success with um, the slower paced style of rumor, waiting for his opportunity rather than just relying on raw speed and hoping that something you know comes his way whenever he gets there in the middle. But Captain Hax has sort of picked his moments better and played a, a more thoughtful style of rumor, perhaps. He's done all right, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just picking up Captain Hacks again. <laughs> yeah, one minute left on the clock here. Uh, the bus is uh, firmly parked. Nox is uh, eating a lot of spam there, but this game is all but over. We will be going to a grand final game. It was scheduled to start in 15 minutes, so there'll be a... A uh, little break here. Ips did say as well that uh, it could be a double best of three, but you know... We'll have to talk to Nox and... H how likely okay. is that going to be anyway? Like, I mean, Ips is saying this, oh yeah, give these guys a double best of three, but is everybody not expecting me in Germany to win? <laughs> no, we'll see. Uh, it depends what Nox and Co want, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll have them to beat it out. GG's are being called here. 30 seconds left on the clock. Could it be the most exciting 30 seconds of the game? t -Mac. Is chasing down a sniper here, launches flip skyward and fi finishes him off. But uh, on 85 HP, he's going to have trouble dealing with the Mitzi Droso super combo. Mitzi gets credit for that crossbow bolt, but uh, I think Droso was doing most of the damage there. Oh, Jesus. Bull goes down after Uber saw the deer, but I'm not sure how this game's going to finish. Could it be 4 1, Commander X? <laughs> I don't know, there's two seconds left, and it's currently a fight between two and three ads. <laughs> My experience tells me no, and there it is, the final score will be 4-1. We will see Milo Moore advancing to the grand final to play Made in Germany in a best of three that will be coming up pretty soon, actually. Not that long Here, to wait. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at the logs. Then we're going to take a little break. We'll figure out what exactly the teams want to do. It's scheduled give you some adverts. in 15 minutes. It, it could be longer, depending on whether the teams want to break. I know we're a little bit behind. But uh, the logs, I have them up. Are you looking at them, CX? No. Give me a few moments. Geef. Geef logs. I'm Give there. To... Big Captain Hacks. Top Pooey. of the damage. Yeah, not bad for a, a rumour. Slash pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Slash Imagine what you could be doing on pocket. Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, we see big plays from Tech and T Mac as well, really high up on damage numbers to Mool as well. Nox particularly low down. It's interesting to see. I don't know if that's just because you know he spent a lot of time on heavy, you know, not really shooting anything, not trading spam. I think he was getting outplayed by Tech. Look at the stats, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Definitely. The stats don't lie. Pocket versus pocket, Nox. He shied away. How will he fare against Ips? That's uh, remains to be seen. I know. I think Ips and Nox are more similar than they probably care to admit. Whereas Tex is much more just, you know, like the kind of old traditional pocket soldier. Give me the Uber. I'm going to walk in and see what I can do. All right, that didn't work. Let's build Uber again. And then I'll jump in and do the same thing again and see what happens. You know, like Tech got a share of heals, like 45% compared to Nox's 32%. I think it's a different style of pocket. Yeah. Uh, I've, sorry to just ignore what you're saying there, but uh, Nox messaged me at the <laughs> same time, and he's saying that they need a real pause. He wants to play the game at 20 CT, so let's, uh, 40 minutes. let's go to a little break now. Hui. We'll go to the old admin channel here and debate it out, then we'll come back and tell you guys when the grand final will be played. We'll even give you some Zoe ads, no doubt, but... Uh, we can now have a, a well-earned break, Commander X. Give yourself a pat on the back there. <laughs> <laughs> 